Spirit of Jesus, set a leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me away. New everlasting love. I'm married to Jesus, set a leave me alone. I'm married, set a leave me alone. My husband is coming to take me away. New everlasting love. Good morning. Good morning to you too. So you are set to go to the market? Hmm? Yes, but I'm set. Uh, fantastic. Swear. Swear? Yes, swear. Swear that what? No, swear that within yourself you are satisfied and happy that you're going to the market like this. <laughs> Brother Cosmos, I don't need to swear. I'm, I'm ready to go to the market now. Yes. Rosanna, now listen to me. Let me not ever see you walk out of this house looking like this. Do you understand me? Brother Cosmos, looking like what again? Looking like what? Okay. Begin to apply your distance. For now. No, Cosmos, you know I do not apply all these worldly things. Worldly things? Those are worldly things. How would you attract a man to come and marry you out of this house looking so plain like this? Or aren't you tired of, of, of your friends and all the beautiful girls in this village getting married and leaving you in this village? Eh? But that Cosmos, I said I would not rob. I don't want to rob. You won't rob? Rosa, start with the lipstick. Rub it now. Rosa, rub lipstick one. Rosa, rub lipstick two. Brother Cosmos, I said I would not rub. I'm already attracted to Jesus Christ as I am, and he likes me this way. Eh, don't worry. Jesus will like you this way too. Set your mouth at the moment. Set your mouth at the Set your mouth at the moment. Set your mouth at the moment. Set your mouth at the moment. Set your mouth at which one is your color? Which one is your color? Mm. I don't. I can't set, set, set yourself here. Which one is your color? Because I'm not going to be so good. Come on! Oh, baby, let's go set, set your eyes. Because I'm not going to be me. I'm not going to be me. You're not tired. You're not tired. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be home. Hold on. You're not tired. You're not tired of answering our father's name. I said, I'm not going to be home. 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 This is the way a beautiful girl should look. Don't you see the difference now? Now listen to me. As you go out now, if any man, any responsible man approaches you, just be cheerful and smile back at him. Do you understand me? Just smile back. Oh, this house must play host to palm wine and bright price. Do you understand me? Yes. Now go. <laughs> Don't wipe that lipstick. Oh. Don't even touch your face. I'm watching you. Come, come, stop me. Stop. 
Get married. Keep smiling, you You see, if your local government chairman has two wives, he's a thief. You know why? Because must tell us. It's simple logic, man. It's logic. You can only take care of one woman and her children's needs on one monthly income. But you cannot take care of two women and their children's needs on the same monthly income. So, if your local government chairman has two wives, check his pocket. You will see bribe money inside. You will see corruption money inside. You will see kickback money inside. Failed contract money too is inside. So, what about the people that have two wives already before they became local government chairman. Ah! You see those ones? They are thieves already. In fact, they shouldn't even be allowed to contest any election in this country at all, at all. In fact, you see eh? They were thieves before they were born. Cosmos! So what you're trying to tell me now is that any man that has more than two wives is a thief too. Uh -huh, now. I mean, it's logic. It's simple logic. You should check things for yourself too. You see, the Bible even says that if you have two wives, you have collected another man's wife. Therefore, you should return that wife to the owner. Because God created one woman for one man. Alright? Yeah. You have another man's wife. Uh, but there are people that have like three wives, seven wives, even up to ten. And above even. You see those ones, stone them. <laughs> stone them! Of I'm telling you. You see those ones, they are worse than arm robbers. I'm telling you, stone of them. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Charlie Bassat, uh, this one is okay, you can pay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mkiru! Mkiru! Ah. Um. How much is your money? Um, he drank three bottles of. He drank three bottles, which is um, three hundred naira. Okay, three hundred naira. Okay. My <laughs> uh, The Charlie P. Ah, uh, cost cost. Oh yeah. Charlie Give me my change, Joe. Oh uh, well. Thank you for buying me a drink, eh? Eh? Yeah? What did you just say? You got three bottles, a drink. Okay, now, nah, uh, thank you for buying me uh, three bottles of drinks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now you are talking. <clears throat> Don't worry. Uh -huh. I'll go and smoothen this job for you between you and Rosa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then later, we'll be talking about bright price. You know? Later, we'll talk about drinks. Later, we'll talk about marriage. Later, kids will arrive. You know, children will arrive. Then later, they will grow up, have plenty, plenty money to take care of their huh? cosmos. No problem. <laughs> ah! I trust you. Uh -huh. Thank you. The Charlie P. Ah, uh, cosmos. Okay, now my in-law. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. My in-law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in-law, in-law. Uh, our in-law, mm. our in-law. Our, uh, 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 stop that kind of play. -o. What's that now? This is my in-law. Uh, are you related to me? Is it your business? No, okay. no problem. Uh -huh. You are only one. Uh, thank you. That's my the Charlie P. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> the Charlie P. Cos cos. Correct guy. Correct guy. Correct guy. Uh, correct guy. Correct okay, guy. Okay, I'll see you later. Cos cos. Mm, no shaking. The Charlie P. Uh, cos my The Charlie P. <laughs> Charlie P. Off my mouth. This guy. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P I trust you. my sister now. I know. Uh -huh. I talk. Uh, Any time. She can't, she can't say more sense. She can't say anything.
Yes, yeah, my bed, my bed. Your stop, babe. stop, 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 nah. Stop. <laughs> God bless you, my dear. God bless the road that you walk on. You know, that road that leads to your dear cosmos. Cosmos? Yeah. Just today, I was yeah. thinking about you. Are you serious? True, and then I just met you on the way. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. He who find it a wife, mm -hmm. find it a good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, also he who find it uh, a woman that wants to marry him, find it uh, great expectations. Says Cosmos. Uh, says Cosmos, <laughs> says Cosmos. <laughs> Let's go now. Ah, Let's stop worrying me Let's now. now. Ah, stop worrying me. Ah, what is it? Uh, kiss me first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kiss me. Mm -hmm. Kiss me. Mm -hmm. kiss. Mm -hmm. I can hear the sound of the keys. Uh, you said See, no, tomorrow I'll be alone in the house. I'll come to the house and kiss you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. You said tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> no problem. I will now go in and smooth in the job, eh? Yes. Then I'll send her to come and see you. There's no problem. Eh? No problem. Eh. I, I hope you have money, you know, to arrange something for her. You know, these small small girls now they like, you know, ice cream, chewing gum. Cause, cause, leave money for 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 chewing gum and uh, cream. You know. Money can never be a problem between Rosa and myself. Charlie P. Just talk to her first. Charlie P. Uh, Charlie Passa. Uh, no problem. No okay, problem. I'm waiting for you here. <laughs> Charlie Passa. Um, Rosa. 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 Rosa! 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 Okay. Ha! Rosa! Don't you know it's bad market for a woman to be caught in the toilet when her intended husband is around? It can reduce your value and your bride price too. Uh -uh. Rosa! Rosa? Rosanna! 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 Um, wait, I'm coming, eh? Don't panic. Eh? Uh, don't panic, don't panic. Just wait, don't panic. I should wait. Don't, just wait, don't panic. Don't go! Yeah, don't go! Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
If anyone leaves his father, mother, sisters, brothers, and other families to seek the kingdom of God, there's a great reward. A great reward that is more when beautiful girls, beautiful girls like us, decides without being forced to become nuns and sisters or for the kingdom of God. Rejecting husbands, children, and the joy of having sex and families of our own. About four years ago, when I decided to become a sister, I prayed to God that I don't want to be the only sister from my village. That you should touch the hearts of young girls like you to take the decision which I have taken. And today I'm happy because the four of you have taken the decision. I'm patiently studying for exams into the convent school. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Yes, it's a good thing to get married and have children of your own. It's also a good thing to have sex. <laughs> like they said, it's sweet. I don't know how true. <laughs> but think of how God will reward with peace and joy for denying yourself this pleasure. Or for the kingdom of God. However, if at any time before you enter the convent or while at the convent, if you're having any doubts about the vocation, please don't hesitate to drop out. It is better not to make God a promise than to make him a promise and fail. Hmm? Praise be to Jesus. Rosanna! Rosa! Rosanna! Rosanna! Oh, so you're there? You're here again. You're here listening to somebody who is too ugly to attract a husband for herself. Eh, Rosanna? Eh? Someone who went to a native doctor and asked him to use the Aguba knife to slice off what makes her a woman. Eh? And she's here deceiving all of you, wearing white, because she has nothing to offer any man at night. Eh, you, Rosanna? Oh, you, you! Why can't you just leave this person girl alone to serve God the way she has chosen for herself? Like talking rubbish. Do you hear me? You are talking nonsense. Veronica, you are talking rubbish. Eh? Now tell me, how was Rosa born? Are you even going too far? How were you born? Isn't it because a man married a woman, slept with her, and did something to her? Eh? I mean, why are you discouraging all these beautiful girls eh, from getting married? When in your 23 years of spinsterhood in this village, no man, not even a madman, came to your father's house to knock, to even rent you for one night, don't talk of marrying you. It's enough, Cosmos. Sister Vera has not insulted you. Keep your farm out to yourself until the rest of your lives that God has punished you with the loss for earthly pleasures. Me. Please, I don't know. Please ignore him. No! Let me talk to him. Is there every time we keep taking this nonsense simply because Rosa has refused to accept any of his arranged suitors? You. We know you in this village now. You want to be a nun. Okay. We'll see how long you will last being a nun before this your body starts to scratch you. <laughs> not you. Hmm? Look at who is talking. You that your body has been scratching for five years now. Have you seen a penny to marry your wife? No. And yet you stand there asking me why I said God has punished you. He has punished you indeed. How can he tell you something you're old? He got like you. Find a wife and yet cannot find money to marry her. Don't you see that God has punished you? Punished you beyond repair. Don't worry. You yeah? hear? Don't worry. Just stay here in this village. Eh? Stay here in this village and see wonders. Alright? Open your eyes. Open your eyes and see wonders. You will see Emilia's bride price paid. Alright? And she'll be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is this one laughing? No, no, why, why are you laughing? Has the vulture also learned how to sing where other beautiful birds sing? We oh. <clears throat> shall know who the vulture is very soon. When Mazze Jago, the local government chairman, pays the millionaire's bride price and buys a car each for her father and her relatives and marries her as a second wife. Cha! Cha! Never! It can never happen. Emilia can never, ever, 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 ever be somebody's second wife. Do you understand me? Rosanna! Come here! Come here! Cosmos, go home. Go home! Rosa will return. She's only afraid that you will beat her up. That is why she's taking refuge here. Nine one. 
Is it fair? Is what Rosa doing fair? Wanting to become a reverend sister instead of getting married. Is it fair? Go home. The, the, the more she knows that you are here, the more threatened she will be. I, I will talk to her. You can as well talk to her later at night. I, I, I know she will, she will see reasons with you. It's all right. It's okay. I'll be going. Okay. Eh? But tell her to come. You have no problem. Uh -huh. Rosanna. Brother. Rosanna. Brother. Rosanna. How many times did I call you? Rosanna, keep me alive. Rosanna, keep your brother alive. Is it too much for a brother to ask for? Is it too much for a brother to ask his sister for? Brother, all my heart is in becoming a reverend sister. I do not want to marry anybody. I don't want to marry anybody. Shit! Yeah. You see, that sister Veronica will never succeed with my own sister. Now let me refresh your memory a bit. You were barely 13 years old when Papa died, leaving us with nothing. He was heavily in debt, leaving only this house for us. Thank God he didn't sell off this house. If not, you and I wouldn't have a roof over our heads today. I dropped out of secondary school. Started trading and put you, Rosa, through secondary school. My business did not do well. Why? It was because the capital I invested was very small. Now tell me, how can a business do well when the only capital invested is just 2,300 naira? Anyway, I thank God you have grown up to become a very beautiful lady wanted by a lot of men in Numaro and other neighboring villages. Rosanna. Rosanna, I am a man. Rosa, I want to marry. Rosa, I want to build my own house so that I can pack out of my father's house. Rosanna, I want to buy a car. I want to do so many things. And my only hope of doing these things is through the bright price that will be paid on your head. Rosanna, my life and my survival are in your hands. If you like, you keep me alive. If you like, let me die. Bamba won and di Bajana Tachana. Bamba won and di Bajana Tachana. Oh, cause. Ah, ah. Welcome. Yes, sir. Okurama. Yes, sir. Uh, you meet me well. <laughs> Please, sir. Join me in drinking. Uh, eh? uh, no, no, no. Next time. Next time. Uh, you are calling boy. That was exactly what you did the other day. You came here and met me eating. Nah, nah, no problem. Next time I'll ask for more. Huh? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Is my wife around? Uh, check her in the sitting room. She's uh, reading for her forthcoming work exams. <laughs> Good girl. Uh, I'll go and check her inside. But come, excuse me. Cause... You called my daughter your wife. Yes. And you have not paid any cup on her head. Except by the word of mouth you used to tell me you will marry her five years ago when Emilia was entering to secondary school. Is it fair? Nay, um, please, uh, no problem. I'll still come and pay her bride price very soon. Uh, trust me. Our people say, Emilia Tana, Mazuan, let the river never dry and let the fish never die. So don't disgrace me before my people. I won't, Nay. Okay. You can go and see her. Thank you, Nay. <laughs> hey! 
Hey, Chipu, I'm going to There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about? Mm hmm I mean, I keep hearing from all quarters in this village that Chief Ojiogo, our local government chairman, is a regular visitor to this compound. And you're telling me there's nothing to worry about. So I ask you now, Emilia, what does he come to this compound to do? He comes to discuss politics with Papa. Politics? Mm hmm so he leaves all his political godfathers, who are his fellow thieves in the local government, to come and discuss politics with your father, who did not pass standard four, and who doesn't know how to read and write. Hmm. Uh, 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 does your father look like a politician in his eyes? I don't know. Yeah. You started lying to me. Huh? Are you trying to tell me now that Chief Ojiego hasn't asked your hand in marriage as a second wife. I mean, how can you deny something that is news all over every popular palm wine joint in Umara? Huh. Did you hear that I've agreed to be anybody's second wife? Okay, I'll ask you this now. Supposing Chief Ojiego chases his wife away, or, or still, uh, if he did not have a wife, would you marry him? <laughs> <laughs> Cosmos, Cosmos, don't query me like that though. Is he not a man? How am I supposed to know if I will not agree or not? Am I God? You don't love me again. You seem to forget it's you and your father who ate the little money I made from trading. Cosmos, Cosmos, don't talk like that. Because even now you know how much I want to be your wife. You said I should wait for five years and I've been waiting till now. So you want all the suitors to go away and then I reach my peak period before you now come and pay for my hand, Nabi? Then you'll be calling me your wife by word of mouth. So what are you saying now? I don't know. I'm saying that I want to marry you and I'll wait for you until after my wife. After my wife like this, anybody that comes to ask my hand in marriage, I'll, I will not refuse the person if I like the person. I've tried. So what you're giving me right now is deadline, not so. It's alright. Um, I have heard your deadline and I will meet it. Uh, I'll meet it. Uh, but first, uh, kiss me now. Papa will hear the sound of the kiss. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. stop. Rosanna! Rosanna! Come on, stand up and be idiot! Now listen to me. Amelia, my wife, has given me until the end of her SSE to pay her bride price. Now, I am not going to steal to pay that bride price. Neither am I going to do 419 to pay for that bride price. The money will come from your own bride price. Do you understand me? Now, I am giving you two months. Only two months to get married. Or else, <laughs> or else, if I lose my Emily, if I lose my Emilia, <clears throat> to God, I'll bury you alive. Oh. I'll bury you alive. But, Brother Cosmos, don't you think this is not right? I mean, Emily should not give you such a deadline. Unless, of course, she's no longer interested in the relationship. Meaning what? No, 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 go ahead, complete that sentence. Meaning, meaning that maybe she... No, um... Uh -huh. Maybe she does not love you anymore. Second. No, go ahead, go ahead, complete it. No, repeat it again. Since you have stopped chewing gum and you now chew soap. Okay, Natancha. Eh, Rosa? Tomorrow, I will pay Charlie Passat a visit, alright? And I'm going to tell him to come with these people for introduction. Now, if you like, you run away. If you like, you stay in this house. But I promise you this one thing. I will make this house hell 
on earth for you. Unless you get married and provide me with that thing I need to make me a full man again. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Come on, come on, get together from here. In our wire. If she refuses to marry you, yes. she will be there to accept you and say yes. All you just need to do now is just bring your people eh, with the bride price and pay tomorrow. Simple. Tomorrow? Yes. How? That's a bit too hasty and sudden for me. You want to marry my sister, not so? Yes, but... Uh... But what? But what? Look, you better come tomorrow before I change my mind and collect money from Erasmus. If you don't know, Erasmus loves my sister more than we Christians love Jesus Christ too. Cosmas, Cosmas, let me consult my father and the elders of my family on the matter. Then we'll fix the date and I will let you know. So you will not come tomorrow as I've told you now? You know now, you know that tomorrow is too sudden for me, you know. Hey. Hey. Anyone listening to you now will think I'm begging you to come and marry my sister. Okay, if you say there's no rush, no rush, uh, no problem. Um, and Charlie Passat, um, I will need um, small money. You know, I need you to give me small money, like um, five thousand naira. Uh, you can deduct it when you come to pay for my sister's bride price. God forbid! I will not do such a thing. Hi, to pay you upfront for my wife. Cosmas! Listen, let me tell you something. If you have no respect for your sister Rosa, I do. Do you understand? Oh, 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 oh. So, it has now come to a matter of God forbid. Charlie Passat. It's now God forbid. So, this is the way you treat me when I eventually marry my sister off to you. Enkwa? Charlie? Charlie, you are a stingy man. You are stingy. Ever since I've known you, the only thing I can boast of is uh, a few bottles of panwen and fried dog meat from Nwaiyaro's bar. I'm begging you for small money. 5,000 naira and you're refusing. Is this the way you people marry your own compound? Ha! Huh. Okay, well. I'll go and find my sister a generous man to marry. Because the way I see you, my sister will die of hunger if she should marry you in your own household. Because you, you, you're, you're too stingy. Your, your hands are too tight. Today you even try to say, look at it's more than drinking instead of beer. You're, you're too stingy. <sighs> Good evening, Chief. Good evening, Ide. Why are you not at the gate? There's a man here to see you, sir. He's at the gate. He has no name, I suppose. His name is... Uh, Cos... Cosmas. Yes, his name is Cosmas, sir. What does he want? He didn't say, sir. Get the message from him. You see, I'm busy. Sir, he refused to leave any message. He just said I should mention to you that it is a serious matter. Concerning a girl named uh, Emilia. Yes. I see. I see. Send me. Yes, sir. Send it. Here's the master. Sit down. What is it you want to tell me about Emilia? Um, chairman of Ofumba local government area. Sir, I want to correct something you just said now. 
you called me a young man. I am not a young man. I am a full man, very much in need of a wife. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny anyway. Back to serious business. What is it you want to tell me about Emilia? Well, since you have refused to ask me my name, my name is Cosmos. Okay, and? You mean you don't know me? No, what are you driving at? Are you trying to say Emilia hasn't mentioned my name to you before? She hasn't. Should she have? Anyway, like I said, my name is Cosmos. And I'm the one who is supposed to marry Emilia. I don't have a father to pay her bride price yet. But you see, chairman of Ofumba local government area, sir. The love I have for Emilia is called killing love. Which means I can kill anybody just to be with Emilia. So, as a peace-loving indigen of this community, I have come to you with this deal. I have a sister by name Rosa. She is 20 times much more beautiful than Emilia and in my own eyes much younger. Come and marry her. Come and love her. Pay her bride price so that I can use money from that bride price to pay Emilia's bride price. That way I am happy. You are happy. Everybody is happy. Everything ends happily. Thank you. So, Chief, what do you have to say? Yes. Can I speak with Philip? Yes, DPO. My life is in danger. There is a madman in my sitting room. Please phone your men on patrol. Let them come right away. Yes, please come right away. Wait, wait, uh, excuse me, excuse me, Chief. Why are you just referring to me now? Chief! Chief, come back now! Chief, I'm not mad. I'm only in love. Well, it, 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 it is Rosa I blame, and, and that's Veronica who is misleading her from marrying. Man, we have taken us by surprise. Who is Cosmos? Cosmos? What has he done this time? Came to my house and introduced himself as Emilia's husband. Is it true? Ah, uh, Chairman, this is not a matter for outside the discussion. At least you come into the house. I know you are angry. Let's go into the house. Is house. he Emilia's husband? Uh, 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 uh. Don't raise your voice on me. Have you lost respect for? Age my ones like myself. I say come into the house first. Answer my question. I demand to know. Because I paid the million school fees this year. And bought all her books. Including the WAEC registration form. Ah. In that case, ask Emilia herself. She's old enough to speak for herself. You cannot harass an old man like me because you are the chairman of local government area. Before your election, I've seen so many local government chairmen come and go. Ah! Is Emilia in the house? No. How can I see her? Go to Cosmos' uh, house. She's there with him. Cosmos? Yes. No. She shouldn't do that. She 
should not. Ah, Cosmas! Ah, Cosmas! Hi! The moment I pass my peak period, I won't be able to give birth. No, no, no. She said that giving birth will be a problem because I've passed my peak period. See now, I'm saying. And then, you know, you know, marry me for free now. Uh, then I'll pay later. No! The gods forbid. Cosmos. Did your mother marry your father for free or on credit? Uh, 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 that's an insult. Too. Okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. But you to don't insult me by telling me to come and marry you for free or on credit though. You're insulting me now as a maiden of this land. It's alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cosmos. You're just like a child. You know? You have the heart of a child. See the way you just said I'm sorry. So simply. You know, most men will not want to say they are sorry. They'll be feeling too proud to say they are sorry, even when they know that they are wrong. But you are different. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Cosmos. I know that you've never hurt my feelings. And I will never, never, <laughs> never <laughs> toy with your feelings. <laughs> I wish you were rich. Very, very rich. That's another insult. How? Look, listen. I know I am a poor person. I'm a poor man. But you don't have to, you know, let it out of your mouth now. Cosmos, are you afraid of the truth? Emilia, you better apologize for that thing that just came out from your mouth now. No. I haven't said anything wrong. You just said I am poor. But you are a poor man. That's the truth. I'm poor. Yes, now. Nah. Emilia, I'm poor. <sighs> okay, come and see me. Stop acting childish. I will go if you don't want to escort me home again. I'll go. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, now I'm going now. The Bible tells us that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, aren't we not to keep our body free from all uncleanliness and sins of the flesh? Yes. Is that what that's coming from? So <laughs> wants to get injured today, let the person come here. Eh? If, if, if any of you Leave wants to spend her night eh, in the village health care center, let that person come, come here now. now. Come. You come here. You come. Please, you, you, you come here. You, you, you must come. Let us for him. Those will be fine, okay? Oh, 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 oh. So, Veronica, you can fear, eh? 
It's a very good thing, it's a very good thing that you can feel like this because I'm ready to kill Kill somebody today. Don't go to fight. Just the woman you are bringing out your mouth. Hey, I want to fight a woman. She's sharpening your mouth. Hey, you are sharpening down your mouth. Now be telling me, I will just kill you here now. Shame on you. Shame on who? Shame on who? Idiot. Come, come, move. You. You are not supposed to be your brother again. Come, come, move. Go, 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 I said you should be ugly. Pay me better. Now, go, 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 go. Now, give me one reason why I shouldn't hate you. No, give me another reason why I shouldn't come at you for face slaps. Eh? Why did you talk like I do not have a mind of my own? But of course, was I have a mind of my own, and you have to realize I'm a full grown woman now. And I can take decisions for myself. And I insist that I will not get married. So. I suffered everything I suffered to make you a human being today and you're here opening this your mouth telling me you're a grown woman that can do anything she wants to do. Eh, Kwa? Toto, say that once and like, if I will cover this your face with slaps. Rubbish. Toto, tell me you're a beautiful grown woman now. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Come here. Come here. Listen to me. Listen to me. I forbid you from going to see that balloon guy again. Do you understand me? If not, I will lock you up in this house. I will slap him up. I will lock up in this house until this your madness erases. Go, 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 get out from here. Get out from here, dude. I, I, I go to work on there. All other people have fine sisters, and they are looking at them as neither side. My own is Bible side. to the extent of you sneaking out of this house without waiting me. Hmm? Good morning, brother. I wanted to greet you, but you, you were having your bath that time. Where are you going with that bike? And Sammy, where are you going? I'm going to Sister Vera's house. Her vacation is almost ending, so she said that all of us should come to our house this morning. Everything I told you yesterday, you didn't take it serious. Let me show you how serious I can be now. Go! 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 Tell me if it's the that feeds you in this house. Brother Cosmos, please now. Please. In in a way, you believe it.
this, you know. There's yam in the house, do you understand? If you're hungry, you cook and eat. Alright? What if I want to go to the toilet? Come on, get out. Do it there. Hey, would I please now? Please don't be like this now. Be correct me now, please. Cosmas, my son. I have heard all your complaints concerning Sister Veronica. Right now, she has gone to church. I promise you, when she returns back, I will ask her if she is the one forcing Rosanna not to get married, but to become a sister like her. Well, I have only respected you as Vero's uncle yes. and come to report her first to you before I spoil her name in this village. I mean, since Veronica came to this village on holidays, all the beautiful girls that would have made good wives for her men have started embracing her madness. Yes! Madness of not getting married. Like I said, Cosmos, I will ask her if she's the one forcing them. Or if they volunteer to serve God out of their own way. Mm. Yes. As uh, housemaids. Eh? Listen, God does not need any housemaid or house help in heaven. He is God and He can do all things perfectly by Himself. Look, just call that your Veronica to order. Call the list to order before I show her in this village. Oh. I will not support her if she is forcing them. Or, but if the girls wanted to be like a sister Veronica, there's nothing I can do about it. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, in that case, I will have no choice but to report her to her people. That's it. Uh -huh. uh, no problem, Cosmas. Her people in Christ are not fools. They can tell the chaff from the seeds. Mm. Yes. Yes. So like chaff from seeds. Yes. So we know who is chaff and who is seed in this village. Yeah. Uh, hmm. um, Father, good morning. Ah, good morning. How are you? I'm not fine. I thought you had already driven off. Well, after the morning mass. I stayed a little behind because Sister Veronica and I had a little to talk about. So what's the problem? Veronica is my problem. Sister Veronica? Uh, sister Vero. Uh, she, she's spoiling my sister for me. Oh. My sister already has a husband and now she wants to disappoint her husband because Veronica has taught her that uh, marriage kills young girls. Let me ask you, has your sister in any way or manner indicated that she's being forced to become a reverend sister. Uh, she, she doesn't need to indicate. The picture is very glaring, it's very clear. Veronica is spoiling my sister. Um, anyway, you don't have to worry yourself. I will speak duly to Sister Vero about the matter. Eh? Speak with her, speak with her. I know she will listen to you, speak with her. Speak with her oh, yes. because she's spoiling my sister for me. Oh. Now you can go, eh? Okay. May the good Lord bless you. Uh, God, please bless me. Bless me. Uh, because I've not stolen anybody's yam. In fact, I've not stolen your own yam. I've not stolen your goods. And, and I'm still suffering in, on, on earth here. Yeah. Bless me. Oh. Father, one how. One how. Yes. Coming here to beg me will not change anything. I've told you several times, I cannot be a second wife. And no matter the amount of money or anything you give me, I can't be a second wife now. I cannot. So what do you want me to do now, seeing that I love you too much to have no financer? 
And I don't know. You figure it out yourself. If I send my first wife away, will you marry me if I do? Maybe. Maybe if you send your first wife away, am I married? But how will I do that? We are happy. I'm highly worried. Everything is fine with both of us. So why do you want another wife? The way I feel about you. And the way you make me feel. My hair swims in the clouds whenever I see you. Maybe, maybe if you go home and you start picking quarrels with her, then it will lead to problems that will lead to divorce. Then you can send her away. That's if you want to. And leave not for sure. Stop looking at me like that. Melly, do you want me to kneel down for you? <laughs> that was lustfulness, so. Nah. Milly, you know I love you, bro. Huh? You lost the nerves! Darling, you're welcome. You're home so early today. How was your day? I'm hungry. I need my food. Is my food ready? Not quite. We weren't expecting you on so early, so by the time you change your clothes, wait a little, your food will be ready. Meaning what, Florence? What do you mean you are not expecting me this early? So you were expecting me to die at the office? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Give me my food now, or there'll be trouble in this house. Chief, I don't understand you this afternoon. You normally come back between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Even later than that, today you're back by 2 p.m. You're calling and getting upset over food. You have said it. You have made it out. That you are happy whenever I'm not in this house. You are happy whenever I come back late and spend little time in my own house. I got news for you. Your plans have failed. Instead of me to leave my house or not to come back to my house on time, you are the one to leave my house. Where have I gone wrong, Chief? My head. Chief, come back and say, what did I do to you, Chief? Cosmos. What is it? I mean, you look too unhappy today. What's your problem? Talk to me now. Huh? Yeah? My brother. It's his problems that has kept my face like this. Then brighten up. Brighten up. At least there is some work here to do and a little money to be made. Joe, for how long will this continue? No, for how long? At the end of today, we'll be paid what? 300 naira. I mean, what, what can we achieve with such money? But at least we feed. Job money? At least. Turn and turn, I was pass. Everybody must not count a million. The world is like that. Yeah? There are some people that are not people, and some are very rich. See, the problem I have with you is that you don't even have ambition.
Rosa. 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 Rosa, come, 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 come. Brother, come. Brother, uh -huh. I cannot take this any longer. I can't take any longer in this house. Because from one day I have never been suspected you as my other brother in this house. And yet you even had the mind to lock me at home since morning and went out. Eh? Hey? Rosa, Rosa, hot water, hot water, hot water. What happened to you? Block, block, block. Block fell off my leg when I went to do my liberal work. You know, I went to hustle for her. Hey. Feed him one now. Sorry. Please bring out water before this thing swells. Please. Rosa, leave this one. Please bring out water before this thing swells. Okay, I'll uh, just hold it and I'll bring it there. Okay. I, 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 fast, oh, fast, fast, fast. I, If I don't do it like this, it's too slow. Just enjoy, enjoy it, enjoy it. I'm I can't do. I'll slap you. What's your problem now? But I'm very, I'm just, I'm only yes, asking you know. to do it. Look, look at, look at your leg. Uh, it's already swollen. Uh, you want me to see it? Easy now. I am doing it easy. Uh, sorry, eh? Yeah? Sorry. I, I, just have my hand. Okay, hold my hand, hold my hand. Hold my hand. Hold it now, hold it. Hold it now. 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 Hold I'm going to the market. I want to buy some books and toiletries. Come, let me drop. Oh, no, sir. Thank you. I told you buy only a few things. So you can buy some of this pay. There's no problem with food pay. Mm. Why? Because I don't want after now, after you finish shopping for me now, you must say that I must marry you because you have shopped for me. I'm not a kid. If I want to shop for you, I shop for you. If you want to love me, you love me. If you don't want to love me, no problem. First time you smile at me. That is great. I would have shocked. Give me other one.
Ah, ah. Of course. Ah. What is wrong with your leg? Um, since now I have refused to tell anybody in this village. Um, you see, I don't want my enemies to laugh at me, but I'll be fine. You don't want. Sorry. Uh, if you are looking for Emilia, she's not in now. Where has she gone now? She went out. Uh, all right, um, kindly tell her I came. Yeah, I will tell her. I will tell her. No one. Please, treat your food. Oh, okay. No. All right. Mm -hmm. Scattered my leg, Emilia. Eh? When I went to look for money to, to, for our marriage, Emilia. Now you followed another man, Emilia. Why? Why? Come back here, you are coming into the car. You don't have time for that rubbish. Come on. <laughs> Things and then we came back. I didn't do anything. We didn't even go anywhere. I'm sorry. Oh, please. Yeah. How are you? Sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I know. I know. He said he wants to marry me. But I swear, I've already told him no. I told him no that I can't marry him. I've already told him no. True. What's what? What's what?
I want chief. My the chief has gone to work. Which work? He has gone to work. I mean, so I've talked to you. How can you tell me chief has gone to work? When he just he returned from where he went to buy things for my wife in order to impress her to leave me and marry him. Nobody will take your wife from me, my dear. Madam, please, I am not your dear. My name is Cosmos. Do you understand me? And Emilia is my wife. Chief should leave her alone because he's a thief. Emilia. The girl's name is Emilia. What? That's the guy's name. That's her name. Chief should leave my wife alone, no. Chief should leave my wife alone, no. He should leave my wife alone, no. And when he returns, tell him he is lucky not to be around. Because if he were to be around, we would have settled this matter once and for all in this conference. Alright? I am the one Emilia loves, not Chief. Okay? The only thing that is holding her marriage is money. So he should stop tempting her with all those gifts. Alright? Because he should stop tempting her with money. Money he stole from the local government. Yes, everybody in this village, everybody in this town knows that Chief stole the money he has today. This house is from his local government money. Everybody knows that. He should stop it though. He should stop tempting my wife with money. He should, he should stop wasting his time on, on all those uh, uh, school fees he pays for her and that's her greedy father. Madam, please tell Chief he cannot, never smell Emilia's nakedness. Not talk of touching it or seeing it. Emilia is mine. Do you understand me? I'm going now. Ida? Yes, madam. Do you know this man? Yes, madam. He has come here once. I think he quarreled with chief that day. Oh. Where was I that day? He went to attend the women group meeting that day. I think it was on a Sunday. Oh. Yes. Is that so? Yes. You see that my secretary in my office. And why are you looking at me like this? Can't you say welcome? Who is Emilia? Mm. Is that why you come to sit here and gaze at me like a chief judge? Eh? Besides, am I supposed to know who Emilia is? And who is Cosmos? You don't know him too. Heaven have mercy. So we have begun to listen to gossip. Go on, listen. Listen. I promise you, you hear more. Please, I need peace. I want to have my peace now. Mama, peace. Mm. Mm. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Mm. Come on, take a drink, eh? You feel better. But uh, I don't understand though. I don't know why this sudden malaria. Hmm? Well, I think it's as a result of your leg pain. I'm oh, sorry, you'll be okay, eh? Well, well I'm about dying now. You can have everything remaining in this house. God forbid, brother, you can never die. You will not die. You have killed me now. You have killed me. You have refused to marry so that I can marry to start my own business. You have killed me. 
Let me tell you, if anything should happen to me, my blood will be on your head though. Because it is unhappiness that is making me sick now. Let me just tell you that. Sorry. Sorry. It's all your own too. Susanna, it's okay. Your brother will be all right. Sister, he blames me. He blames me for his fever. He said that he, 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 if he dies, that there is blood to be on my head. God forbid, he will not die. It's only fever. I don't want him to die, you. I don't want him to die. I don't want my brother Cosmos to die, you. It's the only relation I have left in this world. It's the only relation. <laughs> uh -uh. Hey, Rosanna, you speak as if you lost hope in the religious vocation. Eh? God forbid. I can never change my mind. It's just my brother God. I I don't want him to die. He will not die, Rosanna. And I think you should pray over this. Mm. If you have doubts about going ahead, I suggest to drop. It's better not to be in religious vocation than to be able to have your heart in it. Hmm? <sighs> These are painkillers. Huh? They will stop the fever. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I wipe your tears, eh? My brother will be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, now. I'll wipe your tears. I will not cry again, no. I will not cry again, no. It's okay. Just sit up, eh? I hope you didn't get that from God your store. No. Because he sells expired drugs. Like sister, I've already given them to me. Say that they will kill the pain. God forbid. Tell that your sister Vero, she cannot succeed in poisoning me, eh? She can't kill me.
Rosa, this is quite a surprise. <laughs> Sorry I kept you waiting. I was in the bedroom. No problem. Uh, when they told me that Rosa was looking for me, I was wondering which Rosa it could be. In my wildest dreams, I did not even believe that, uh, that it's going to be your own Rosa. Honestly, I am very, very happy to see you, Rosa. Thank you. <laughs> what can they get for you to drink? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. Uh. Just that, I remember that for over seven months now, you've been professing your love to me. So, I... Um, I, I just thought to come and see you to find out how you were coping. I am coping fine, you know. And you? I'm fine, too. Um, Rosa, it feels good to know that you bother about me enough to visit me. And it also feels good to, to know that you appreciate the fact that I brought about you. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, is your, is your brother going to be free by next week? I mean, will he be at home? Yes. Why do you ask? <laughs> I want to call with my people to, you know, come and uh, ask about you. <laughs> let's, that, let's leave that one for now. Eh? Let me get you something to drink. Hmm? You must take a drink from me. Eh? Just wait for me, I'm coming. Come on. I decided to quit and get married. You said I could quit if I have any doubt. My brother Cosmos condition has given me a lot of doubts. I've gone to Chelsea's house to give him the go ahead to come and pay my bride price. I know that you're disappointed in me. But I'm very sorry. Please, sister, please help me pray to Jesus for me. Tell him, if only I had a choice, I would save him all the days of my life. It's alright. Do what you have to do. We will miss you. But God knows better. He will not fail to raise for himself handmaids to do his work. Hmm? I hope this is what he wants to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. the market by myself and I went to buy fresh fish for you so that I can mix you so that I can eat. Look at it. Just because of you. Well, that's why your, your love never lets me sleep. Have you forgiven me for the other day? 
I've forgiven and forgotten. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Look at my face and tell me that you're sure. I've forgotten. I've forgotten. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me feed you the way people who are getting married behave. <laughs> it's sweet, Abby. <laughs> Let me give you fresh fish so you eat fresh fish. No, I'm all right. Are you sure? It's because of you, I prepared this fresh fish. Let me give you fresh fish. Oh. <laughs> Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be angry, yeah. All right. Mm. But you don't do it again. Eh? No, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Right. <laughs> I'll give you more rice. Wait, wait, this one hasn't finished. It has not finished. Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she left immediately. She finished cooking with the food she cooked. Let's pray she returns early. I'm sure she has not gone to see that cosmos. Who I'm sure. Eh? Well, good afternoon. Afternoon. Thank God you are here. Chief Ojego has been waiting for you. And by the way, where are you coming from? I went to see Cosmos. He's not feeling fine, so I took food to him. Martin Jock, you see? You see? Why on earth? Food to Cosmas when she knows how much I love her. Don't scream at me, don't scream at me. I do the things I want to do the way I want to do them. I don't belong to you. If you want to shout, go to your house. Go and shout at your wife. You insult me now. Hmm? You insult me now. After all I have done for you. You see, what did I tell you? She be a told that that you use those things she bought for me to try to claim right over me. You said it was a lie, you did not agree. Now what have you done? Is that not it? See now. Uh, Chief, don't shout on my daughter in my present. Emilia, keep quiet and don't talk back. Papa, let me talk, oh, because it's not going to pay me for the same amount that lipstick and cotton goes for. Ah. Don't shout on him. He says, Chief. There's something she wants me to do which I've not done. And the earlier I, don't, I do that, the better. Well, Mazin Joko, I beg to leave. I'll see you. Okay. Clark! What are you doing at home? I was preparing for a local government chairman wife's meeting. Yes. Meeting upon meeting. I will about. I will waste my money for nothing. Is it not women like you who queue in my office in the morning, in the afternoon, even in the evening, looking for one contract or the other? Can't you prepare ordinary proposal for supply contract? Can't you? Look, I'm tired of this marriage. I am tired. You must leave my house. They have charmed you. This is not the chief I used to know. They have just charmed you. I come against that charm in Jesus' name. You are not a that. Come against that person in Jesus' name. It is your father, your grandfather, and your grandmother that they have charmed. Wait, let me show you how a child man behaves. <laughs> There's something I'd like to tell you. What is it?
Brother, I visited Charles yesterday and I've agreed for him to marry me. Huh? Did you just say you have agreed to marry Charles? Yes, brother. Since that is the only thing that makes you happy, I have agreed. Uh -huh. Please come, 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 come. Come and hold me, hold your brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see? This is the way a true sister should behave. You know somebody who is my blood. Yeah. Now I know you care about me. Eh? Don't worry, we won't have problems again. Eh? Hey! Hey! See, eh? Charlie Passat has small money. Eh? He will love you, you will love him. Very soon, children will come. And then two of you will train them, they will grow up, they will have money. Okay? And they will later help their old Uncle Cosmos. Eh? Aha! Hey! Don't worry, we won't have problems again, eh? Um, so when is he coming, you know, for the introduction rights? He said next week. Ah, no, next week is too far now. It's too far. Ah, why can't he come, you know, tomorrow or next, you know, so we can do everything quickly? Eh? Don't worry, I'll go and meet him tomorrow. Eh, we'll talk so that he can come and do everything sharp, sharp, quick, quick. Eh? Hey, my sister! My sister! See now we are friends now. Nah, see now, nah, see now. Nah. Hey, my sister. See, yeah. see you are Eh? Hey. Go ahead and sit down. That's if my seat is not too small or too poor for you. Thank you. Good morning, ma. Good morning. This must be the Emilia. Ah, no, no, this is my sister Rosa. If you see Emilia, you know her. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cosmos, hmm? I've come to discuss something very important with you. Ah. I don't know. If I should say it in front of your sister. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. No, no problem, we are one. Okay. In that case, I have to go straight to the point. <laughs> that is some money. It's for you. Yes. 350,000. I want you to use this money and pay Emila's bride price. Marry her. I want my husband's eye to go out of Emila's body. If she's married, my husband will have no other choice than to concentrate on me, his wife, and the family. 350,000 naira. I'm going to faint too. Don't faint. Look, I'm using this money to buy back the unity and happiness of my family by eliminating Emilia from my husband's reach. I'll cut up for any expenses concerning your marriage with Emilia. Yes! I'll give you half a million. Eh? Yes. I want you to use it and open up a provision store at the township junction there to take care of yourself. And your wife, Emilia. Hey! 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 Mm -mm. That means I can be a sister now. And I don't have to marry Charles again. What is she talking about? Uh, uh, no, no uh, forget, madam. Uh, it's a private, private you know, uh, family matter. Um, madam, 
Did you just say that uh, uh, you're, you're still going to give me 500,000 naira apart from this 350,000 naira? Yes. Hey. Tomorrow I'll bring the money. It is very important for me for you to marry that Emilio of a girl. Quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think my happiness and marriage is worth more than 850,000 naira. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, one more thing. This should be a secret between I and Libby. If you will not keep it secret, give me that. No, 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 Only the lipstick and the other items you bought. They cost you money, you know. You wouldn't be needing them anymore. See, Rosa, I think God wants you to serve him. And that's why he provided money for my marriage. I'm so happy. Finally, you and I would not be having any more quarrels over your wedding plans and also my religious plans. <laughs> I'm happy too. Thank God. The only problem is that I've already been to Sister Vero's house to tell her about my quit in the pursuit of my religious vocation. It's alright, I'll take you to her and plead with her to take you back. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god, thank you so much. They'll be so happy to have me back. You can imagine. My friends, Adana, Inken, Soso. Ah, god, thank you. Come here. Put your head on my shoulder. So, how soon can I join my mates? How soon do you want to join them? I've not told you this all these days, but I have to tell you today. It is sad for me to announce to you that Rosanna has decided to abandon the persons of religious vocation. back to you. I know you're shocked, but you see, it's the work of God which is marvelous in our sight. She's free to become a reverend sister, even if she wants to attain any height, not to 
I will not stand in our way again. So uh, please, uh, after lessons, let's come back home, okay? Bye, boss. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Um, before I forget, um, Sister Vero, I am sorry for all the insults I rained on you. You see, it was due to ignorance. Ignorance that God can actually change my life. I've already forgiven you. Thank you. Yeah, person, go there. I'll come back home early. Eh? Alright. So what happened? Tell me. How did it go? What happened? My sisters. Yeah. It is God. Hello. You know, somehow God just showed up in our situation. He just blessed my brother miraculously with money for his wedding. Oh, and he just let me be. I'm so happy. Hey, I can't so believe you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your patience, your word of advice. Thank you so much for being there. You all know my brother Cosmo. Ah, I know. If someone makes me before you'd have come and you'd have scattered all the way. I'm not telling you. Thank you. Thank God. At least I can now pursue my religious vocation. Do you know I was actually telling them about you abandoning your religious vocation? No, and here you are. Not anymore. <clears throat> My son, I know you did not do an robbery. You did not kill for money. But since you refuse to tell us the source of your new world, I nonetheless bless you. And I thank you for being sensible enough to plan on investing the money in a shop. May it be well with you. Yes, I always knew you would surprise us one day. May our ancestors continue to bless and guide yes, you. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, Papa, uh, I just want you to have this. Uh, just manage it for now. <laughs> Emily. Papa. Look at me. Only me. Of course, I'll leave. Emily. Look at you. Hey! Anywhere I'm gonna go. Anywhere I'm gonna go. Cause one, I'm gonna go. Hey! Thank you. Anywhere I'm gonna go. Anywhere I'm gonna go. Anywhere I'm gonna go. Eh? Nando man. Cos! Hey! come now! Who is even making that noise? Good morning, my in law. What is it now? Listen, I have an appointment. Alright? I can't see you now. Cos, 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 come, come, come. What is it now? Listen, I came to your house for Rosa's introduction so that we can fix a date. Date for what? For a marriage now? It, to marry a stingy man like you. Eh? Now for your information, my dear sister Rosa is married. Married to who? Married to Jesus. God. You understand me? Rosa has my permission to join Reverend Sisters and serve Jesus too. At least Jesus is not as stingy as you are. He has made me a rich man overnight. Do you understand? Now get this nonsense out of my compound. Room. Come, 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 come. Don't, don't, come, now. don't come, 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 let's settle things now, come, settle this thing, get that out of my compound. <sighs> I 
have told you Emilia is not at home. You still stand there asking me when will she be back? Ojego, truth is bitter, but must prevail. My daughter does not want to be a second wife. Please go home to your wife. Cosmas has charmed you. But no problem. I have no business with you. But Emilia, I'll stand here till she comes back and tells me that I'm wasting my time or that she does not want to see me again. <laughs> I see you have much time to waste. But you can wait. Emilia, in fact, has gone to buy the clothes she will wear at her marriage introduction with the Cosmos. I'll stand here and wait for her till she comes back. I speak with her by myself because I know she's more reasonable than you are. If you insist, continue waiting. I said you were looking for me, or rather, that you were waiting to see me. What are you still doing in this house? Greet me first. If you don't respect me because I am the local government chairman, respect me because I am older than you are. Good afternoon, chairman. Sir, what do you want? I want to see you. See me? For what? I am getting married tomorrow. No! No, you won't. I won't agree. That you are who? That you are joking my father or who? Listen, I am getting married tomorrow. That's whether you like it or not. If you like, bark like a dog or crow like an old cockroach. That won't change anything. I am getting married tomorrow. Here. If you have so much love to give, take it to your house and give it to your wife. Don't do All this insult for me? All this insult from a little girl like you because I love you. Myself. Backing like a dog, and I grow like an old cockroach. Chee! Chee! So beautiful and fantastic. Hi, Florence. You see, each time I remember you, I feel disorganized, whatever I may be. Though still my wife, and I feel very happy going back to the house because of you. You are wonderful. You are a queen every day for me. You see, it's good to have a beautiful woman as a wife, and I appreciate her and her beauty. I appreciate your beauty any day. See, I bought the gold necklace for you. Let me fix it. Fix it. Your neck. Oh, beautiful. It fits you so much. Won't you help me? Why not? Darling, do you know that some married men belittle themselves? and just these small, small village girls. Really? And I saw them. It just happened to a friend of mine. But that kind of thing can never happen to me because I'm married to a very beautiful, fashionable, and exposed woman. I know. Who I love so much. <laughs> what would I be looking for in a village girl? Eh? <laughs> You see, let the village boys and village boys marry the village girls. My dear, life is in levels. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Darling, come and watch me change my dress. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 
My people from Umar, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. My sisters and the daughters, none. Once again, I greet you all. Um, it is said that uh, after a stranger has eaten cola nut, he delivers his message. Welcome. Uh, almost I greet you people. Thank you. We have come here today for a very important mission. And uh, that mission is no other thing than that we saw a very beautiful flower here. And we have decided to come and block that flower. It's no other thing than that we have come to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. That's why we are here. <coughs> None. Uh, um, thank you very much. <coughs> um, thank you very much. Um, I want you to please call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. Because in Umuze here, we have so many daughters. Many of them. So please, tell us the one in your mind so that mm -hmm. I will call her. Um, it is a liar <laughs> Now you have called this bed this bed. Um, Emily, Emily, please come. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, these people from Umar said they have come to ask for your hand in marriage and they brought all this drink please tell us whether we can go ahead with the drink or not, or not. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> by you see take it to the person that is worrying you all this time <laughs> Our ancestors will continue to guide you. He say, this is our daughter you come to marry. We give you children mm -hmm. one by one mm -hmm. until your house is filled up. And that means, that means, that means, that means, um, you will live long to train your children. He say, and your children will train you. May our ancestors continue to guide you. Keep going, eh? Oh, you couldn't do it.